and uh, welcome to the Entertainment Science Fiction Programming Network, your Entertainment Sci-Fi Programming Network. And so we say, Zhao An, Ohio gozaimasu, Zhao Shanghao, Buenos Dias, Bonjour, and welcome. So today on our podcast, we're talking about what does it take to travel the deepest parts of the ocean? Deep ocean travel. Not an easy task. It's not an easy task even to travel, like say, 100 feet below the ocean surface. Not easy. On the other hand, you can buy tickets to travel into outer space. Just pay Elon Musk and he'll take you. So what we're discussing here is very important. The ocean is by far the more mysterious, more provocative place. More mysterious and more provocative than space. The ocean is filled with mysterious life. So to go below the surface of the ocean, you will need a submersible. Now going into outer space, you're hoping to see life. People have been looking for life ever since we've been going to outer space, hoping to find life. Well, if you go below the surface of the ocean, you are guaranteed to see life. Right? Animals, plants, algae, bacteria, life is there. You're not just seeing rocks, meteors, planets, but actual life. To submerge below the surface of the ocean, you, you, ocean, you need a submersible. So, let's compare. You buy expensive tickets from Elon Musk and you get shot into space by thousands of pounds of rocket fuel. Or you can get a pressure safe tube with its buoyancy properly adjusted and submerge below the surface of the ocean. Most recreational divers can dive no more than 100 and 20 feet deep. Now at that point, 120 feet deep, intoxication by nitrogen sets in and keeping your lungs pressurized becomes hard to do. Technical divers on the other hand, such as divers uh, who dive into caves, uh, they know how to neutralize the nitrogen and oxygen, they know how to balance that in their tanks. They can mix the gases. So they can get to like 500 or more feet deep, technical professional divers. Now, the other method outside of diving yourself is a submersible. So start getting into submersibles and going deep into the ocean uh, below the surface of the water. Start for fun, right? Like recreational. Rent a submarine. It's not a joke. It's not even funny. You can do it. There are many submarines for rent. So rent a submarine. That'll take you about 500 feet or more uh, below the surface of the ocean. So you can spend like one and a half hours for $500. It's not millions, $500. And in one and a half hours, you will see the most amazing things and you will 
guaranteed sea life forms. So one of the recreational submarines that you can rent is the Idabel. The Idabel can take up to two people and go deep, enjoy the one and a half hours below the surface of the ocean. If you want more than two people, if you want to say like 10 people um, around, go with the submarine Serena. Serena will take you to visit the Pacific Ocean near the island of Saipan. And there you can visit around the Pacific Ocean. If you want a high-performance multi-mission submersible that resembles a two-person jet that glides beneath the sea with, equipped with sonar, long-range daylight and night vision. That means that it maneuvers well on the surface and can instantly submerge and maneuver in the dark. And the corporations use that sort of a vessel. The corporations that build pipelines below the ocean floor use that to inspect the pipeline. So it's a great submersible and makes you look sleek. You can get like 80 hours of oxygen in it. It goes from positive buoyancy for cruising at the surface and can dive below the surface. And there you have neutral buoyancy for control below the surface. It comes with navigation lights, LED lights for deep dives. It has seven high performance thrusters powered by lithium batteries. It's magnet magnetically coupled for high torque motors. Uh, gives you about four hours, uh, 400 pounds of forward thrust. It can go 2000 feet deep and you'll have 180 degree view, 180 degree cockpit view of the ocean floor, 2000 feet below the ocean. That's exciting. That's exciting. It's not just fish, it's life. Purchase the aquafy. And that's this world of underwater life that's opening up, that's unheard of. Purchase the Aquafy, theaquafy.com. Purchase your novel from Amazon Kindle. Read about it. Purchase the gear that goes along. You know, this amazing life underwater we're talking about. Purchase the gear that goes along with it. And you get it from Redbubble, just as safe as Amazon Kindle, comes to you just as quickly, and you will enjoy this life underwater. The Aquafy and how each adventurer, they venture out of their miniature submarine. They come from the Aquafy and they each have their own miniature submarine, just like this two-person vessel we talked about going deep sea uh, adventures. What do they encounter in those mini vessels? Uh, one of the adventures is where they run up on a school of giant eels. If you uh, missed the podcast that we talked about, what lives that deep in the ocean, what lives in the ab abyss, and we talked about the shark that looks like an eel. If you missed that, go back and listen to that. So now the aquafy in their pods run into these giant eels. Is electricity involved? Yes, but I'll, I'll let you read. Aquafy.com, read what happens next. Get on the aquafy.com, purchase the paperback, go to, and get the merchandise like we talked about. If you're on YouTube, subscribe, 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 like and like and like. It's filled with that fascinations of what's going on below the ocean. So it's a breakthrough novel. 
right? You read about the aquifer's capabilities, the aquifer, what it does underwater, what it does above the water, in the air. There's also another ship, nothing like the Aquafy, but it's an adventure ship that you can take that'll take you below the surface of the ocean. The Cyclops Sub, and it's called Cyclops because it's a giant three-person diveable. It's a diveable submarine that 50 meters long, has multiple decks. You can go deep as 9,200 feet below the surface with the Cyclops sub. Now that's a lot of life to see, 9,200 feet below. Once you get there, you can get launched out of a submersible to investigate in your pod. So we talked about the Aqua Phi. They launched out and they investigate the area in their pod. You can do that in the Cyclops sub also. So can you imagine, you read the Aqua Phi and you read this fascinating things that they're able to do, and then you go do it yourself and you do it safely by renting these submersibles. At safer levels, the Cyclops sub has a dive chamber. So it's a great experience to get inside of one, walk the bridge, get to the helm station, visit the engine room, the main engine, get that view from the view screen. The ocean floor is even open where you can have the ocean floor view. Many possibilities for traveling the ocean floor. In the Aquafy, it starts out with a wedding because there's the main characters who are in love with each other, they're getting married, and the floor where they're getting married in this reception hall, there are two whales that come up right be below their feet. Vaquify.com. It's an amazing, amazing story of the adventures that take place this deep in the ocean. So rent these subs, start out recreationally, then you become more professional. You can go deeper, you can get to 9,000, 10,000 feet in these renting these subs, unless of course, you're connected to the senior enlisted officer of a submarine, or even the commanding officer, or even the XO, the executive officer. Now in the Aqua Phi, one of the characters works on a submarine, which one? Purchase the Aqua Phi. And then on Facebook, say, this person is the one who works on a submarine in Aquafy. What submarine did he work on? Hmm. It's there too. The, the name of the submarine, who he is, purchased Aquafy and read about it. So if you have these connections, you connect it to the X, XO somehow, you can get on a submarine. Maybe you know the Admiral of the Navy. So, but don't forget that a submarine, even like a nuclear submarine, it'll just take you about 300 meters, 400 feet. You're going to want to go deeper than that. Well, you know, if you're connected to the commander, get you on there, you go, okay, go 400 feet. But then after that, you want to go deeper. The average ocean is 3,790 meters or 12,400 feet. That is two and one third miles. The record submarine death 
is a Swiss-designed Italian-built submarine called Trieste. And it reached a record 10,911 meters or 35,797 feet. Of course, again, in the Challenger Deep of the Mariana Trench. Now, we're saying, of course, again, because I'm taking that you've already Listen to the past podcast, the past podcast where we talked about the Mariana Trench. If not, go back and listen to it, and you come back to this, and you'll be up to date to what we're talking about. But most submarines, even nuclear submarines, go about 300 meters. So to go deeper, try one of the other options we talked about that I just mentioned to you. But you can start with that. Start with that. You're commanded to you. You're you're connected to the EXO. Start with a nuclear sub. Then after that, go deeper. You have superpowers. Yes, you do. And you want to use your superpowers, but you don't know how. How to use your superpowers? I'm gonna tell you how you can use your superpowers on the next podcast.